I have been wanting to make a tutorial guide showing you guys how to upload stuff onto the Roblox Marketplace for ages now. So yeah, this video is going to be a very simple guide showing you guys how to combine your mesh and texture together and upload it onto the Marketplace as a UGC accessory. Obviously, public UGC has now been released, so I can pretty much finally show you guys how to do this. I just want to say in this video, I'm not going to show you how to make the item in Blender because this is sort of like an upload guide. Maybe I'll do more guides showing you guys how to make other accessories and stuff. I already have quite a few on my channel. So I've got like one for eggs. I've got like Roblox avatar heads and faces. I've got caps, top hats, DIY, paper bag masks, all of that kind of stuff. So I'll link those videos down below. So if you guys want to make your own item, go ahead, watch those. This video is going to show you how to upload them. So yeah, let's get into it. I'm sure you guys noticed by now, but to be a UDC creator, since public UDC has been released, you need to be ID verified. So, you know, you have to verify your official ID in your Roblox account settings. The same thing we had to do for voice chat when that first came out, you must be subscribed to Roblox Premium 1000 or 2200. And also you must follow the Roblox community standards. So basically the guidelines, right? So if you get like warnings or bans, you might not be able to do this, but I don't know. I always get warnings and mine's fine. So um, yeah, this is what I'm going to be uploading today. So I've got my mesh, which is my swords OBJ file. And then I have a texture. This is a retexture I just very quickly did of the graveyard edge sword. I just want to say I'm not going to be doing anything with this. I'm probably just going to leave it abandoned on my account. This item is purely for this tutorial. So what we're going to do guys, we're going to go down to the search and we are going to go and type in Roblox Studio and um, yeah, let's go and open it. So while we are waiting for Roblox Studio to update, because um, I guess I haven't updated it in a while, there is a few plugins we need to get. So let me show you those quickly. So the first one is the UGC custom thumbnail tool. You must have this installed. I mean, to be fair, you don't exactly need this, but if you don't have it, your UGC's thumbnail will look super ugly over on the avatar shop. So get this. Yeah, it's actually really good. The second one, which is also free, is Asset Creator. This one is made by Stickmaster Luke. Um, pretty much this makes it so easy to make UDC assets. I've been using this for years and it's awesome. And the final one you need, well, you don't necessarily need this, but I would recommend getting it. This is Load Character Light. I already have the full version, but the light version is also very good. So once you have all of those three plugins, obviously you just click get them. All we're going to do is go on a fresh base plate and I'm going to show you guys how to upload your mesh and texture onto Roblox and how to upload it onto the marketplace. It's actually easier than you may think. And I'm going to show you guys the correct way how to do this without encountering any errors. So I'm just going to get rid of the spawn point because that's annoying. We're going to go to plugins. We're going to go on load character pro. Obviously you guys might have the light version. And what you want to do is just type in someone's username. I like to type in like noob and then some numbers. Normally you can get like a bit of a basic avatar and then spawn it in R6. And then there you go. This is just some random guy's account, but we're going to use this to position our item. So we're going to right click the page. We're going to go on insert object. We are going to type in mesh part and then just go and click on this. So this right here, this mesh part block, we are going to use this to make our accessory. So we're going to go and view at the top. We are going to click on properties. We are going to click on mesh ID. We're going to click on the file folder icon and then simply go and find it in your downloads folder. It should be an OBJ file. So select it, click on open, then click on no, because otherwise it's just going to put it somewhere random in the map. Give it a second. Uh, Roblox is normally a bit slow, but it should generate in any second now. So um, yeah, let's just wait for it. There you go. There it is. Now guys, we're going to get the texture. So we're going to click on this and why is it? not popping up. Yeah, what the heck is going on? Normally it pops up letting you add in the texture. Why is it gone funny? Hang on, let me go on view properties. Let me try that again. Texture ID. Oh, for God's sake. All right, Roblox is broken apparently. It should pop up and just let you add it like really quickly, but for me it's glitched up. So we're going to go to create. We're going to go to creations. We're going to go to development items. We're going to click on images. And then we should be able to go to decals and we can upload an asset. So we need to click on this. Then it just click on upload go and locate your texture. So just click on open. Normally we wouldn't have to do this, but it looks like Roblox has gone a bit funny. So let's just go and upload this and that's fine. There you go. That should be okay. If we just click on this and go and copy asset ID, that should be all right. Yeah, I don't know why it did that. Uh, normally it's fine. It's just like maybe Roblox is being a bit buggy today because loads of people are uploading stuff. But if you just copy the um, Roblox asset ID part as well, I don't know, just put it in. That's fine. You can just put in the ID. It should work. So did it put it on the item? There you go. Yeah. What the heck is going on today? Roblox is super slow. Anyway, uh, you can do it that way. That's like the fixed method, I guess. So I'll leave that in the video. And then we're going to select the avatar, view properties. We need to copy the avatar's position. So the origin position, copy that in, then just click on the sword, go down to the same thing, origin, paste in the avatars one, press enter, and it should move your sword to your avatar. Now, obviously you want to position this a lot better. So if you click on home, go on the move tool, 
you can pretty much move your sword to wherever you want to. If your move tool is being a bit weird, go on model and change it to like very little studs and it should be okay. So let's just move it down a bit. We just want to position this nicely on the character. Um, yeah, we can move it there. We kind of want it in the center though, right? So something like that. Let me tell you, I'll tell you what, if I just go on that, if I just tick that box, is that pretty good? I think that's sitting like very flush with the avatar's back. Um, it does look quite cool. If you want to resize them in here as well, that's definitely something you can do. But for this tutorial, I think that's perfectly fine. As I said, I'm probably not going to use this anyway. I'm just going to upload it for an example. You could always make it smaller if you wanted to. If you wanted to scale it down or whatever, it's up to you. If you wanted to rotate it to change the position even more again, that's something you can do. So you could maybe have it like that. You can play around with it, honestly, guys. Like you can get it to whatever you want. It really doesn't matter too much as long as it's like on your avatar's back. I mean, you can do this with hats as well. This is simply just like an item, you know, upload guide. So I'll tell you what, if you like the look of that, you're going to select it. You're going to go on plugins. Then you're going to click on asset creator. I know the thumbnail on my one's a bit buggy, but whatever. For yours, it might have a wizard's hat. Anyway, you're going to go on accessory. We're going to do next. Then we need to click the part we want to become the accessory. So the mesh part, next. Then we're going to click on the character. So next. Then we're going to choose what it is. So let me just close this. Um, What would it be? I guess body back. Uh, you just want to choose the right one. Obviously, if you've got hair, if you've got hats, neck accessories, shoulder accessories, you get the idea. So I think that's right. So we're going to go on next. Classic next again and now guys it is done so i'll tell you what if you just add in another character so let's go on load character pro let me add in bob 943 because this guy's a bloody legend what we're going to do guys is we're going to try and drag the accessory on him and we're just going to check that it's positioned correctly so if we just go on the explorer select our sword if you want to rename it here you can so i'm just going to call mine a sword press enter then we're just going to drag and drop this on bob and let's have a look did it position it right let's have a check yeah that looks awesome so i think we're ready to upload it well, in a second, let's do the thumbnail. So let's click on the sword. We're going to go on plugins, UGC thumbnail tool. And pretty much, guys, you just want to hold shift and you want to position the thumbnail. So if I wanted it something like that, that looks quite good, doesn't it? That looks sick on the marketplace. So let's accept it. And here's the important part, right? This is how you get it on Roblox. This is the part I've never been able to show you. So you want to right click the sword. You want to go on to save to Roblox. So wait for it to load up. And as you can see, it lets me select avatar item. Now, I just want to say at the time of recording, recording this video this might not be here for everyone just yet but it's here for me obviously because I'm a star creator and yeah you can actually upload your own stuff so if it's not here for you just yet just wait a bit they're slowly rolling out public UDC to everyone and I reckon in 24 hours maybe everyone which is ID verified and meets the criteria is gonna have this so the asset category this one is a where is it back accessory so that'd be that on there then it validates it validation succeeded if you've got any problems watch my other like UDC making tutorial I show you how to like set up items properly. Uh, you can call it anything you want. Description, put anything in there because you can change it once it's done. Creator, me, back accessory. Um, oh yeah, this is where you add the tags. So you can do swords. Uh, you can do whatever you want. Adventure, skeleton. Uh, let's do knife and... Uh, werewolf. There you go. <laughs> An interesting selection of tags. To be fair, there's so many accessories on Roblox. Whatever tags you do, it doesn't really help. But, you know, just add them just in case. Let's go and submit this for 750 Yeah, unfortunately, guys, it does cost you money every time you want to upload a UGC. But as you can see, it's uploading. And there you go. It's done. Now we've got to wait for Roblox moderation to approve it. And that, guys, is how you make UGC items. So just to make sure it works, one thing you can do is you can go on your avatar editor and you can have a look and you can see if the sword is pending and as you can see in my case yes it is now that means roblox moderation haven't accepted it yet so i'll come back in an hour okay so just finished the sword is done so i guess we're gonna have a look at it and i did do it the opposite side to my red one so it's a bit different there you go yeah i did position it a bit differently as well but that is what it looks like so that guys that is how you upload ugc items it's kind of crazy i'm finally able to make a video on this but yeah if you guys need help watch my previous guides and i'll probably do another guide showing you guys how to make something basic because I know a lot of you guys are new to Blender. But from here, guys, you can go on the three dots. So like click this option right here. If you go on configure, this is where you can put it on sale. So if you want to make it limited, non-limited, you can, you know, it costs a lot of money. It's a shame, really. Publishing advance. Wait, is that dropped a bit? It was, I swear it was 500 Robux more expensive not too long ago. But yeah, if you wanted to do it non-limited and just put it on sale, it looks like it's going to cost 115. You get the idea. Oh, maybe it's limited. Yeah, limited was like 20K or something mental. But there you go. Uh, 
Um, I'm not going to put this on sale, as I said. I just wanted to show you guys how to make stuff and then, you know, sell them if you want to. Obviously, you publish the item once you're done. And that's pretty much it. That's public UDC. Anybody can make items now. I don't really know if this is good or bad, to be honest.